Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another Monday plan with me. This week I'm using a kit from Strawberry Line Designs called Fairy Tale. I'm just going to give you a quick flip through so you can see everything that's included in the kit. I've used from um, Strawberry Line Design Shops before and I always enjoy using her kits and I will leave her link in the description box for her shop on Etsy. And I've also got the glitter headers that just wouldn't focus but I have got them and I will be using them. So I'm going to start with the washi at the bottom. I'm going to leave a gap because I wanted enough to trim off and use at the top as well. So that's what I'm going to be doing here. I'm just using my scissors, trimming it off and then keeping hold of it for me to put down in a minute. So I hope you guys are all enjoying your summer holidays or the summer if you don't have children. Um, we've been really busy last week so I feel like I haven't been active on social media. I haven't chatted to anyone on Instagram. I've been really quiet and also on Facebook. It's really weird not to be talking to you all but I feel like I'm back in the zone this week so hopefully I'll be able to catch up with some of you. I'm also going to be putting the date covers along the top and also before I forget um, I'm not going to be here next week we are off camping well not next week the week after we are going to be away camping we're on a family camping trip so there won't be a plan with me go up on that week but if there's another video that, that you guys would like to see maybe it's just something different then let me know I did used to do like beauty videos um, but if there's any other kind of videos that you like watching on YouTube let me know down in the comments and hopefully I can have a video still go up for you guys next week even though it won't be a plan with me so going in day by day I started with a page flag and a film sticker which is from my shop I put down my full box and an edit sticker on top which I did move because I didn't like it on top of the full box so I just put it on top of some patterned washi and then underneath that I just write down that I want to pack some orders and I use a little Etsy pop it from the social sheet. I used a little envelope icon and put down that I wanted to post my PR packages as I didn't have time to do that last week. And my writing just does not match this week in my planner. I've gone for different types of writing. I don't know why. I think it's just because I was like in the planning zone and was just filling everything out. So nothing matches. But here I'm just putting down that I want to upload this plan with me. And I'm just using one of the PC puppets. And I was trying to layer it behind here, but it just wasn't working. So I just stuck it on top. I then put down two little things. I put a hot one down as the children are going to be baking some cookies, which they are doing right now while I'm doing my voiceover. And we are also going to be watching a film called A Quiet Place. For Tuesday I put down a half box as we're going to be having a family day out with everyone. So on my half box I just wrote fam day out and I just used the family poppets. We're going to be going to Framlingham Castle and we are going to need to take a picnic and everything so I wanted to mark down that I needed to organise and pack the picnic. So I took an organised sticker from my shop and some patterned washi. I took the poppets from the friend timesheet as I needed to also remind myself to take a flask of coffee. Underneath there I put down a car icon just to write down what time we were meeting the family to kind of go in convoy to the castle, um, which is at 11, I'm not sure why I didn't write that down. And then I put a half box, uh, sorry, then I put a full box down as we were going to be out for the whole day. And then when we get home I wanted to purchase some more Sims 4 stuff pack. I've got all of the expansion pack, well apart from vampires, I haven't got that one. But I realised that I don't really have that much of the stuff packs that you can buy so I want to purchase some more of those. If you have got any of those let me know down in the comments which stuff pack is your favourite. And then for Wednesday I started with a to-do list. We've got lots of kind of paperworky things to do on Wednesday morning. And it's also some birthdays in my family so I just took a half box and I wrote down twins and Rachel birthday. I feel kind of mean just writing twins down but it takes up less room than to write Aidan Lewis and Rachel birthday so that's why I done that. And then underneath there I just put down a full box and I was going to switch things around because I knew I wanted to put another quarter box down. Um, but I kind of just left it how it was in the end and for the quarter box I just put down that they, that my boys need to have a haircut and we're going to watch another film I think it's called Truth and Dare it's got Aria from Pretty Little Liars in I'm pretty sure that that's what it's called and I just used the poppets from the friend sheet again which has got the little popcorn 
So moving on to Thursday, I want to have a really good clean through the entire house. So I put down a half box onto its side and put clean from a clean sticker. Oh, I cannot talk today. I really can't. I put a clean sticker down, which is from my shop, as well as a home time poppet. I put a glitter header down. Another seriously, I put a glitter header down. Glitter header. Can we please just take a second? I put a glitter header down and wrote down everything that I wanted to get done. I put a quarter box down to remind myself that I needed to do some more laundry before we go off on our camping trip. It's also going to be um, our green bins, so I used the little icon from the kit. And we also need to pack our tent down. We actually bought a new tent for this camping trip and we put it up for the first time a couple of days ago, so we need to take that down so we are ready to go on Sunday. I'm so excited about the new releases that I've got coming up. They are all just so adorable. I can't wait to show you. I then put down a checklist and as I'm going to be packing all of the camping clothes, I also didn't want to forget to pack the coats and wellies and kind of things like that that I probably would forget because it's been really sunny here. And then I'm going to be having a power hour before I go to bed, um, which is basically tidying up or tidying the house but just doing it all in an hour and then for Saturday I started with a piece of patterned washi and I put a bit first coffee sticker which is from Paper Sheet Plans and then I put down my to buy list which I will fill out on Friday because there's a couple of fresh bits or fresh food that I want to get ready for camping and then I put another piece of patterned washi down just to cover up the line that's in my planner and I put a half box down just to mark that I wanted to finish packing for our trip. I then put my full box down right at the bottom and the gap that was left I just put a quarter box in as kind of Saturday night we'll be packing the car so it's all ready to go. Moving on to Sunday, I used one of the poppets which is just to remind myself to water all of the plants before we go. I took a little poppet pushpin from the reminder sheet to make sure we use up all of the milk because there's nothing worse than coming home to milk that's over a week old. And then I put down a piece of patterned washi and a cat poppet to um, make sure I feed our cat before we go. We've got somebody coming and feeding the cat while we're not here but I will feed him before we go. I then put down one of the Poppet reminder boxes because I just thought it was a little bit easier and trying to list everything um, and just mark down things that I want to do before we actually leave. I then put down a half box and just wrote let's go camping. And then moving on to the sidebar I used my full box at the top which says positive vibes only. I covered up the notes section with a piece of patterned washi and then I completely forgot I hadn't even used the weekend banner. Um, I was going to put it at the bottom but I decided to put it at the top this week. So carrying on with my sidebar I put down a quarter box and a checklist. This will be my next week section. So I just wrote down next week and I was just flicking through my bullet journal just to copy over anything that was going to be happening. I then used my last full box to fill up some of the gap at the bottom and then I also put in a half box and I wanted to use the planner as some deco, just, you know, I wanted to use a piece of deco. And then that was pretty much it for this spread. It feels a little bit jumbled to me. Um, I think it's because I've got kind of like a lot to do before we go. But here's everything that I've got left. I've still got quite a bit left. So these will be going on to my de-stash pile. And I hope you guys have really enjoyed this week's plan with me. If you did, then make sure you give me a thumbs up. I hope you guys have a really lovely week. Also, let me know down in the comments if there are any other videos that you would like to see on my channel. Maybe I can put one up next week. Other than that, I will see you next time.